Have you ever been in a stressful situation or potentially a life-threatening event? Did your brain ever freeze? Do you ever wonder why victims of assault or rape don't fight back? Well, today, you're going to learn about the reptile brain. From a biological perspective, it's known as the amygdala, which is in the center of the brain. It's part of your subconscious brain, whose main function is basically just to keep you alive. When you're in a stressful situation, your cognitive brain switches to the subconscious or known as the reptile brain. Your brain will temporarily freeze as it makes the switch to the subconscious, which can cause you to lose your fine motor skills and memory. This is why most people will freeze if they're ambushed or taken by surprise. If you haven't had any similar experiences or training, in a real life situation, your subconscious won't have any information to bring forth during an event. Hence, you freeze. There's a great story that illustrates this and it's actually real. There's an airplane uh, crash where there's an issue with the landing gear and upon landing, the fire started in the back of the plane. Many people just sat still motionless, but there was a guy who sprang into action to help others. So you must have thought about this scenario in the past. Uh, most would have died, they just sat there, not responding, just sitting in their seatbelts. The guy actually had to literally shake the people to get them to snap out of it so they could exit the plane. The other type of training we can do is reality-based training, but it must trigger the stress response or the adrenaline dump, which I'm sure you've all experienced. Repeated exposure to this type of training will help your subconscious brain bring out the information you need to save your life. So if you're ever in a real life situation, your body will know how to respond as you train or as you visualized. I always say you fight the way you train. Training in a static, safe, and non-stressful manner will not program the subconscious. You have to make it realistic. So don't be a victim. Try to make your training more realistic. Until next time, stay alert and trust your gut. This is Tom from Marshall Tactical Defense. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom of the screen and like these videos. Until next time.